solve the following in equations and graph the solution on a number line. Now this is a number line. So for that we have to do two things. First we have to solve this and then we have to graph this and show our solution on the number line. Okay. Now when you are solving an inequation, you treat an inequation as an equation. How the way you solve an equation is same as that you solve equation. There's only difference uh, when you're multiplying or dividing by a negative number. So I'll not uh, talk about that now. So this is treated as a simple linear equation. Uh, but of course you have to show this is called an inequality. Okay, this is less than. So how do you read this equation? 2x plus 4 is less than 10. So there are some values of x which uh, which will satisfy this inequation. So I'll come to that later. So let me write this equation again. So what's given to x plus 4 is less than 10. So I want to get rid of this 4 on this side because that's what happened last. So you have to undo that first. So I'm taking away 4 from this side. So you have to take away 4 from this side. So this is two sides of an inequation. So this and this gets cancelled. So you've got, uh, let me use a brown color, 2x is less than 10 take away 6 is, 10 take away 4 is 6. So 2 times x is 6. So I'm going to divide both sides by 2 because this is times. And the opposite of times is divided by less than 6 divided by 2. Which implies, so this 2 and 2 gets cancelled. So x is less than 3. So let me let us understand the answer. So what's the answer telling us? That if x is less than 3, any value which is less than 3 will satisfy this inequation. Now what does that mean? If you take, say, any number, so t think of a number which is less than 3. So let us say x is equal to 2. Okay, so if you take x is equal to 2, if you put 2 here, so 2 times 2 is 4, and 4 plus 4 is 8, so it works there. Okay. If x is 1, 2 times 1 is 2, plus 4 is 6, 6 is less than 10, Okay, that works there. But what if, suppose, if x is equal to 3, does it work? 2 times 3 is 6, and 6 plus 4 is 10, so it doesn't work when x is equal to 3. What if, if it is, say, 4? Okay, because our answer is x has to be less than 3. So 2 times 4 is 8, and 8 plus 4 is 12. So that is not less than 10. So any number which is less than 3 is satis or satisfies this inequation. Say this is 0, this is 1, this is 2, and this is 3. And say, of course, let us write a few numbers, negative 1, yeah. This is not drawn to scale. This is a negative 1, and negative 2 is enough. And of course, there are all numbers which are negative. So how will you show this relation or this on a graph? We want to show all the numbers. X stands for all the real numbers or all the numbers which are less than 3. So it cannot be equal to 3 it has to be less than 3. So you have to draw a circle, or this is called a gap. So 3 is not included. But all the numbers which are less than 3 is the solution of this inequation. Solution means is the answer for this inequation. So this is, this is our, I'm shading this part of the graph. So this is the solution. So in inequation, in equation, as you saw, you get one answer, or can be more than one answer. If it's a linear equation, you get only one answer for x. Whereas here, it is all the values of x. It can be any number. So if you want to express this in word, x is any number less than 3. Any number less than 3. Okay, so let us look at one more equation. Now this is 3x plus 1 is greater than or equal to 10. So let me explain what is greater than or equal to. Now, suppose if someone is, if you have a relationship like this, 
x is x is not greater okay x is not greater uh, oh, sorry not less than not greater than suppose it is x is not less than say phi what does this mean x is not less than phi see to write this mathematically this is how we write x is this is greater than phi and not is by drawing a line like this so x is not greater than phi that's how you read it so x is not greater than phi has got two implication think about it if x is not greater than phi what does that mean okay if someone is saying that i am not greater than five years old think about that sentence if some you read somewhere that the person or the child or whoever that person is is not greater than five so that means that person x can be either equal to five or can be less than five can be equal to five or less than five and that is written this together is written as x is less than or equal to okay I think you understand this this notation less than equal to so let us look at this equation so you don't need to even if you don't understand this you treat this as an equation so I'll write the equation first so 3x plus 1 is greater than equal to 10 so I want to get rid of this plus 10 plus 1 yeah now, why do I do that first because in this in equation to get to 10 or to get to 10 or greater than or equal to 10 the first thing that happened to x was you multiplying 3 to x and then you add 1 so the thing that happened last was adding 1 so you have to undo that first so you have to take away 1 from this side you have to take away 1 from this side so these are two sides of an equation so I can write this and this gets cancelled so 3x is, oh, it should be less than, take away. I was excited, so this is negative 1. Okay, so this is greater than, equal to 9. So 3x is greater than or equal to 9. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 3. So 3x over 3 is greater than, equal to 9 divided by 3. This implies this and 3 and 3 gets cancelled x is greater than or equal to 3 now how will you plot that okay now this is either this has got this is this means two things it means x is equal to 3 or x is greater than 3 these are two results together so let me say this is 0 this is say 1 so this is negative 1 this is negative 1 this is negative 2 so this is 2 and this is 3 and this is 4 and so on okay so we want to include 3 in the solution and all the numbers which are greater than 3 so you shade this part of the graph so this is the solution of this equation so any number which is equal to 3 or greater than 3 satisfy this equation so let us put suppose if you put equal to 3 what will happen 3 times 3 is 9 plus 1 is 10 so if you put 3 it will be equal to 10 and if you put any number greater than 3 it will be greater than 10 so if you put say 4 4 times 3 is 12 plus 1 13 13 is greater than 10 so any number which is equal to 10 or greater than 10 will satisfy this inequation